if a movie got made with an actor that was making these comments about Hamas or something, and then but the angel invest or if the guild was like, we still love it, put it through. There's some dissent. Are there investors that once it gets through, they're like, I'm not going to put money on that one. Is that part yeah, of the they, process? They have a choice. They have a choice whether they want to invest in a project for sure. Yeah, it but, doesn't. It doesn't guarantee that we'll be able to get the film. Uh, to do a partnership with the film like there's still a lot of things that happen have to happen after the guild but we cannot take a film into angel studios until it passes the guild and they so there's a hundred thousand people they've invested in different projects they can they go on they 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 become members of the guild and then you get to as a member of the guild you get to vote on the stuff that goes to theaters vote on the stuff that goes on the platform and if you don't pass it it doesn't come on Angel. And is that the threshold? A thousand people? You said a thousand people. A thousand is it. like, it tells it's statistical got, it significance. Yeah, statistical significance okay. of the audience. Yeah, and so you'll have, you know, a few hundred to a thousand people watching each movie. There's 21 movies submitted a week right now to Angel wow. Studios on average. 21 movies a week. There's a hundred plus thousand people going through these movies, voting, then they decide what comes in. And then as a guild member, when you become a member of the guild, it's like an Amazon Prime membership or a Costco membership, you get perks, like you get complimentary tickets to every single movie because you're an angel executive. Like, Oh, I was going to say, I like this. I like this idea. You know, Ian's concern is one guy can be like, I'm shutting your movie down because I don't like what that person said. That's impossible. And, and, and exactly, with I may disagree with these 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 you know people cheering Hamas or being critical of Israel to varying degrees, uh, but I do think they have a right to speak their mind. And it is shocking when a studio says they're going to shut them down. So I like the idea that with you guys, one person can't just do it. It has to be a community effort. Mm -hmm. So think about it this way: if you get a ma a lead actor in a film, and then he comes out you know to do press for it and says a whole bunch of nasty, awful, like really shockingly offensive stuff. And then the community says, we don't want to go forward with this project. That that would end the project? That would. That's what. Right. I think that's the way to do it. I'll tell you why. Not all speech is socially acceptable. If there was a guy who went out and started demanding that schools start giving these books to kids, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, this is not someone we want to support, right? That crosses a line for, for something we don't want. By all means, he can go do his own thing, but we're not going to greenlight it. However, it's not one guy. It's a large community that has to come to a, a mm -hmm. statistically significant decision amongst themselves. Is there ever decentralization? Is there a cap on individual investors so that one guy can't come in with a hundred million and be like, I yeah. want to? Yeah. So the last investment, I think the cap was ten, or is it fifteen? Was it 15 last time, fifteen, fifteen thousand dollars. I don't remember. Like the last oh, one. That's very small. Yeah, fifteen thousand. Yeah, I thought you were going to say fifteen million. Okay. No, 15. no. <laughs> the no cap the, the cap now the film was made with bigger investors but once it passed the guild and then it took on pna money which is the way it did the crowd What's money PNA? it's called it's prints and advertising so back in the day when you prints meant you print out a reel of film and ship it to every single theater so that they can play it on their projectors prints and then you print out the the movie posters those were the prints that cost a lot of money just to get those out to the world and then advertising is how you promote and make awareness around the film so currently like prints are like a lot of them are done over satellite and a lot of them Shipping are done with drives. little hard drives yeah you still mail the hard drives yeah, yeah. to yeah. a lot of them is that just old guard like not figuring out they can email it yet yeah or? <laughs> yeah they don't have great internet maybe <laughs> or their projectors aren't connected to these are the multi terabyte internet. movies. Yeah. These yeah. are multi terabyte movies. You you have to have really good internet in okay. order to to uh, to bring down that level of a film. So prints and advertising are the prints are the, the printing out the posters and that stuff, and then advertising. And the, the the crowd invests in prints and advertising. They did it for Sound of Freedom. They put five million dollars to get Sound of Freedom out to the theaters. They put it into After Death. They put oh, it into shit. His Only Son. They put it in the Shift, which is coming out on December first. And there's thousands of people helping these movies get off the ground. 